Hey everyone, how's it going? The Bloon here, and today's another BTD6 video. Today is going to be Spice Island on Chimps. So we're just going to keep moving up those intermediates, knock them all out, so you guys can eventually black border all these maps. Um, no monkey knowledge since it is Chimps, and we're going to use Pat today. So if you guys didn't know, Pat is also considered a water tower. You can place him on water. And if you guys didn't know that, mind blown, right? Because I totally forget all the time that he is a water tower, and I don't place him on water because I forget 99% of the time. So today we're going to, and it's going to be really fun. So let's jump right in. But before we do, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Leave those comments below. Turn on those notifications. Uh, follow on Instagram and follow on Twitch. Today is Wednesday as I'm releasing this video. You might be watching a different day, but I'm releasing it on Wednesday. And that means that I am streaming as you watch this. So jump on over to Twitch and play some co-op with me. Give me some challenges that you may have made. And let's just make it a really fun night because Twitch gets really fun with a lot of people in there and a lot of crazy stuff going on. So uh, live balloons every Wednesday and Saturday. <laughs> but um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a simple sub start here. Now, sometimes it might mess up, but I think we should be okay. Just he has a little trouble hitting everything right around these blues. But as soon as he gets them, we're going to be on the easy street because now we can just throw down another sub and it's going to be like one of the easiest chimp starts, I think. So hopefully it works out. So what? Okay, cool. That was super simple. Um, I've done this before to where he doesn't necessarily hit that right off the bat. He has to shoot it and get lucky and it shoots all the way over here. So if that happens to you, I apologize. Try it again and it will work one of the times, um, if not all the time for you. So there you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go sh straight for that Pat Foots, Pat Fusty, Pat Fusty. I always thought it was Pat Futsy, so apparently I can't read because it says Fusty. I just mess up all these things like the Moor Glaives, the Moab Glaives, whatever you want to call them. I call everything crazy. Apparently, this is a spike shooter. This is a I don't even know, guys. Don't even get me started. So we're gonna throw down a a Pat, but the reason what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna throw him like low on the water. And the reason because is you're gonna get even more mind blown. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get a carrier flagship. And as you guys know, it increases attack speed of all water-based monkeys. Well, if you put Pat on the water, he is now a water-based monkey. So Pat's gonna get even a super speed boost and it's gonna be awesome. But the thing that's a little weird, a little wonky is that if you don't put him on the water and even a little bit of him is on the land, he won't count as a water tower. So I unfortunately did that and messed up, so we're going to make sure we don't do that right now. I was playing through and I got all the way to my carrier flagship and next thing you know, he doesn't have a boost and I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, because I put him on land, he's not a water tower. So don't make that mistake, just put him down where I did and you guys should be just fine. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to get the twin guns for 485 and then we're going to get our airburst starts. and then. The rest of this is going to be pretty chill. I mean, it's only going to get a little weird and a little wonky around the 90s, but until then, it's going to be pretty easy. And as you guys saw, I hadn't even beat this yet. I haven't even gold boarded this yet. So hopefully I'm not just talking smack and we can knock this out. And if you're watching this video, that means I did it, right? So you guys get to watch it and get a black border as well. Not that I have the black border. I never go back and beat the beginner or the medium map. So I have a lot that should be black bordered, but I don't have them black bordered. So I uh, don't be like me, guys. Finish them up, clean them up. You guys worked for it, so make it happen. Just get those shiny black silver borders everywhere and feel good about yourself. But we almost have enough for the airburst starts. It should be after this round. There we go. Now we're good. So what we're going to do now is, as you guys know, we have a camo coming and we have a lead coming. We have this guy to pop the lead, but it's going to be a little weird. He might miss a couple or this guy might not go as far. I don't want any mistakes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get a boat. Since we're on water towers, we've got to buy everything cool, right? We're going to put him like right at the opening and then we're going to get him long range and then crow's nest for 430. And then we're also going to put him on strong. Um, he doesn't need to be on strong yet, but I'm just going to put him on strong for now because he's going to be a cannon ship eventually and he's going to be our main lead camo popper until we get a village going and make this thing real crazy. So he needs to be able to hit everything or just mainly all the leads. That's why I'm putting him on strong. But as you see, he took care of our camo no problem without any issues. And now we're going to get this one for the camo leads and the regular leads and we're going to be doing some good stuff here. I'm also going to get a cannon ship here. Just get it off the bat so we can get this guy out of the way. We're never going to touch him again. Let's just get that. And I think Pat's already at level 5. Go Pat. So he has this ability and 
don't use it the same time I do it. Um, probably the same levels, but for the most part, you guys know that sometimes balloons come out random. So if I use it, let's say at the middle of 33, and you guys use it middle of 33 and you have different results, sometimes it's random. So don't always do that. Just do it when it gets hairy or when you think it's gonna get crazy. If it gets too close to Pat, use his ability so his these guys can just slam him down. But as of now, using the ability really won't do too much because we don't have strong popping strong popping towers yet. But we have our first triple guns. So let's do that there. We're going to get this guy up to a longer range and advanced intel. So he can also see camo and see across the map. And then we're going to get a third one. Maybe a fourth one actually. Because there's a little tricky part that I was having trouble with. And I was like, all I have to do is get one more and this won't happen. So I'm probably just going to do that now. Before we start the truck to the sub commander. Because we're just going to make the long haul right off the bat to that guy. But... It's I do it with only three, but then it's a little matter of luck if you're going to get it because sometimes they slip through the end on one of the rounds, sometimes they don't. So to make that not a thing, we're going to just get a little couple more oomph to our tower and make it happen. This 1190. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to have three triple guns, a pat, and this guy for the first Moab, and it's going to be a cinch. Super easy. And I love nothing more than an easy round 40 because sometimes round 40 can be quite, quite difficult if you don't use the right towers or you're going for a certain strategy. And like sometimes, like if you do the Druid strategy, sometimes round 40 can be a little tough depending on the map. So this one's going to be super simple and I can't complain at all. All right, so let's get that first ever starts. I call it first, but it is the third ever starts. You guys probably catch a lot of that in my videos. I just use random words. I don't know if it's a speech thing or what is going on, but I'll call something like the first or the third or the wrong name. And I don't know what that's about. I think it's just being on spot and talking to the camera. So, eh. But that was pretty easy. Look at that. No issues at all. Pretty simple, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple more things. So we're going to put a dart monkey here. And we're going to go long range enhanced eyesight. Dart monkey here, below here. And do long range enhanced eyesight and what that's doing is giving these advanced intels the ability to see camo all the way to over here and then all the way to over here so we're pretty much covered to this spot right here on the map the rest is kind of iffy but if it gets it that far we probably didn't have that good of a strategy anyway and it might not work for you if it did so here's what we're going to do now we're going to get one more guy this might be a bad play because we might not have enough by 63 but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So we'll just do that. This, I'm gonna pick this guy as my air burst starts or my sub commander. Um, it might not be the best choice because you can't fit that many, but I only want 10 subs around him, 10 air bursts or triple gun darts around him because you have too many. Um, we're not gonna have enough money for the other things we have to buy because we may have to buy shattering shells at the end and a sniper. I haven't made it that far to find out, but I'm pretty sure round 98 is gonna give us a lot of grief. So to make it simple on ourselves, we'll just get some shatter shattering shells and make it simple. Now I tested this in Sandbox a bajillion dozen times, so we shouldn't have any problems, but you guys know how that works for me. I make it perfect in Sandbox and I go to play it for real and it just destroys. So yeah, we'll see, hopefully. Hopefully you're watching this video and hopefully uh, it works out, right? And yeah, but we're just gonna say it for 27,000, but we need it before round 63 is the problem. So. Sometimes that doesn't work out the best that we want it to be. And I'm hoping that it will, but with using only three subs, I don't remember exactly what level, but one of them is just like real sketchy. And it's right before we get that 27,000 too. So I just said, forget it. I'm going to use four subs, make this simple on ourselves. And I, that might've been the level on 49 um, or one of them. But now, as you can see, this is going to be really easy with four triple guns and a armor piercer. So we're going to be chilling. Trying to fix this mic so it looks so funky on the thing okay all right so we got our hands on number one ability in case we need it when things are getting a little crazy but as you can see i don't think it is getting crazy we just need 13 more thousand dollars which is crazy so hey and hey are those so i see those hammerhead sharks rolling around up there are they monkey hammerhead sharks or are they just regular hammerhead sharks never know because like on frozen over there's that little caveman monkey and I think he is the prehistoric monkey. He's the one who started it all and he's frozen over. So I don't know. Are they going to bring him back? 
They should. They should. Ninja Kiwi should make like a caveman monkey, and he's just like primal power, kind of like Pat a little bit, but he's more of a tower with his own third or fifth tiers and everything like that, just because I use my ability right there too, just because it's getting a little hairy. Um, because he is a monkey and he is a caveman monkey, so that'd be cool. We'll see. Maybe they should make a caveman monkey. We're close to that 27,000, but this is what I was talking about. So what's going on here is because I bought that fourth one, that fourth guy, we don't have it yet. We would have had it already, which is why this is looking a little crazy. Um, hopefully that last one worked for you as well as it worked for me. And it made it around, but there's what was a red or blue and they popped it really easy. So no issues. Um, I am gonna use, no, I'm not gonna use an ability. Just play it by ear. You guys know what's good and what's not good. If it's looking crazy, like right now, maybe the usability, but I don't think we're gonna need it. We're almost there, and once we are, we're in the clear. The rest of this is going to be a cinch. Like straight up, just super easy, no issues until the round 90. So there we go. Sub commander, guys. Now all of these guys are rocking. There you go. Now what we're gonna do is two things. We're going to get a village and we're gonna put it right here on the low low so we can get that pat in there. And we're gonna go bigger radius and jungle drums. Just those for now. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm gonna buy another boat and I'm gonna put him in range of the tower and over here. And this guy is going to be faster shooting, double shot, Destroyer, he's going to be our aircraft carrier, and I'm just gonna go straight for it. We only have four airburst starts, or four triple guns, three triple guns and a sub commander. Gosh, I gotta get that right, right? But I'm just gonna go for it here, and I think we're gonna make it happen. As you can see, round 63 is getting dominated by sub commander, so I think we'll be fine for a while. So I'm gonna get straight for that 3,100, then that $8,000, and then the $27,000. But then with that, we're gonna have super fast pat, Super fast sub commander and all his little cronies, so it should be an easy ride after that. That just costs so much for this boat, and by the time you get him, it's like, is he really worth it? I haven't tested him in sandbox. I know it works for this map, but is he really that much stronger? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below if you guys do know. Because he is cool, and it is cool that he speeds them all up, plus we get the crazy buff from the sub commander, but like, is it all worth it? Should I just buy tons and tons of airburst and triple guns so we can get the sub commander even more posse behind him or should i just upgrade to the aircraft curve i don't know but it works right so let's roll with it and it makes pat stronger or faster which is really cool so he has jungle drums and the aircraft carrier which just i think is pretty awesome so if you guys have never tried that you definitely should because it's just fun i like different things like that they're just weird so this is definitely one of them and i did the air or the sub commander strat not too long ago with pat on what was that shoots but it just wasn't as cool because I was only able to have, what was it, four or five subs. This way you can have like 10 subs. Get crazy with the subs. And you'd think, oh, well, you're going to use first strike then since you're using all the subs. No, no first strike. Mainly because I don't have money. But secondly, because we don't need it, we're going to destroy that bad with good old fashioned power. And it's going to be quite fun. So, and that's if I can remember the order of how I use the abilities and when I use them and things like that. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And now we just need 27 or 23 more thousand dollars. So I think we can do it. And then afterwards, Pat's going to be super fast, which is going to be super cool. And I'm pretty excited about it. So cool. Hopefully we can have it before like 85 or something, but I don't know, maybe. And hopefully you guys la liked my last video, the um, hedge half cash, because that was a user created video, which was pretty awesome. Well, not video, but user created strategy. So one of my awesome subscribers made me a strategy from scratch. So maybe you guys didn't watch it because you've already beaten half cash on hedge, but you should give it a check because it's a completely different strategy than I ever use because um, a subscriber gave it to me like detail by detail, step by step. And so I made a video on his exact strategy, which is pretty cool. And that was just fun and interesting trying out new things. So if you guys are interested, give that video a check and Give all the other videos a check too if you haven't already. I don't know. If maybe you're long time returners to this channel or maybe you're new because I've been getting a lot of growth lately. So maybe you're new guys and you're checking things out. Check out that one. Check out the, the strongest strategy. See what you guys think about that one. Just because um, I label them differently for weird reasons. Like I have the strongest strategy, the easiest chimp strategy, the best chimp strategy. And I label them correctly to how I feel. So I don't think it's bait clicking or anything. 
Um, I do think it's the strongest, and I do think the other one's the best, and I do think the other one's the easiest. So it's just all fun. Um, I love this game, and there's just so much to do with it, right? There's so many things going on in so many different towers, there's so many different variations of each tower, and you're like, what is going on? But hopefully I'm turning some of this madness into some sense, but probably not. You're probably just like, dude, what are you going on about? I came to watch some balloon strategies, and you're nuts. And that's probably true, but yeah, that's what makes it more fun, right? So are we close yet or am I just going to have to keep yapping on? So we need eight more grand. Okay. I just want to see the little aircraft boat above Pat's head. And he goes, what's up? With his super fast boat powers. And you'd think it's like super awesome. So I thought just giving him that when I did it in Sandbox was going to like end my day and make it super easy. Definitely not the case. So eh. I thought it was just going to be him so fast that he stops everything. Bop, 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 bop. It didn't happen. But it's still really awesome. And you'll see it in a minute here. I have a 27, two more thousand, let's do this countdown. Watch some crazy rush come through. Oh no, it's just gonna be the ZOMG, the Zomga. All right, flagship, look at this. Pat has a boat on his head. What is up with that? Plus jungle drums, plus some radar scanner after this guy. Um, there we go. Look how fast they took out a Zomga. That's just only four with an aircraft carrier. That is so cool. So now we got this one, we got that one. I'm going to go straight for the Monkey Intelligence Bureau just because I know I'll forget later and we really, 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 really need that for round 90 and above. Like, for real need it because it's going to get real crazy with those DDTs and I don't want any issues. So, hmm. All right. And then what we're going to do, how we're going to finish this strategy off is very, very simple. We're going to get a Shattering Shells just to be safe for 98. We're going to get a... Uh, Moab's main Moab and then we're gonna get a lot of subs and that's pretty much the goal here But I'm gonna do shattering shells first. I know that sounds a little crazy But I just want to make sure we have enough for it. So at least we're gonna start it off. We're gonna go one two three. Oh No way As that really bums me out because if he can't see oh No way and he can't even go on here. That's super bummer. Well, I didn't want that, but it is what it is. We might even have enough money now, but I wanted to go this way and I went that way. So eh, don't do that. Don't place him there. Um, kind of a total waste of money and such a bummer. If eh, kind of really bummed about that actually, because he doesn't need to see camo, but it's going to help because Bernie stuff's great for, you know, camo balloons coming out and all the DDTs. And there is going to be, you know, I think what is it? 98 or 99 with those DDTs and he doesn't always hit them because he's a little slow, but if he does hit the DDTs, it helps, right? So, ah, so whatever, it happens. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to start, we got our shattering shells. We're going to start buying some subs because we really need to get 10 and we only have four. I'll get that 1080. All right, 1080, 1190. I'm kind of nervous if this is going to work because I never, I didn't get shattering shells first last time. So I was like, Ew, this might not work out actually. One, two, one, two, three. Honestly, I should just slow these things down because I'm placing these very slowly and badly. But he is shattering his shells. So, I mean, that's going to help out too. So, I mean, it's all, it's all relative, I guess. Okay, so what I'm doing is every time I place one, I'm making sure that it has a green circle, an MIB face, a sub anchor, a boat, and then the rest of the village icons because it's important. Let's get that 540. How many do we have now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're way behind here, guys. Oof. And we'll be fine, I think. But I may have messed up getting that shattering shells and buying this guy for way too much money. So uh, that's. You know, my fault, shouldn't have done that, but it happens. Get this guy here, one, two, one, two, three. 1190, there we go. Get one more here. Okay. Now, I think that makes us, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, no, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine's good enough for now because we really need that main Moab. So we're going to put him here because he can see camo right here, which is very, very important for those DDTs. We're going to get faster firing, even faster firing, get that deadly precision for 3240. Um, I'm going to use Pat's ability. No, I'm not. Am I going to? No, I'm not. Okay, I think we're going to make this on our own. Look at that go. I love that guy. All right. So I'm going to get 5,400 for that main Moab. Oh, guys, this is kind of scary. I I feel like this, like this something this small shouldn't be that like devastating to a strategy, but who knows? I wasn't planning on it. But for this one, what we're going to do is we're probably going to have to use Pat's ability right about... Are we going to do it fine? Just use it just because you don't want to mess up, right? No reason to mess up on something that doesn't need to be messed up on just to test out to see if he's strong enough, right? So let's do that. Now we have that, so that's cool. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our, I think, 10th and final sub. And we do have, we have more than enough, which is pretty awesome. I was not expecting that, so I'm pretty excited. I feel like I'm missing something I shouldn't be missing, but hey, what happens, right? So 96 is not gonna be bad, 97 is not gonna be bad. 97 is going to be pretty chill, actually, especially with this guy popping everything. Um, Pat's killing it, as always. What else can we get? I mean, we can make this guy faster. That'd be kind of cool, but I really don't want to. Uh, we got this guy doing his shattering shells thing. We got that guy. We got this guy. We could probably get like a, a Kylie boomerang over here. Maybe put him right here. So we'll go the one, two, three, four Moab press, faster throwing. Put him on strong. As soon as it starts getting overwhelming on 98, this is the hard one. So as soon as it starts getting way too close to Pat, that's when we're going to hit his ability. Okay, so I'm just throwing some other stuff down. I guess I'm not. Okay, use his ability right now. It's getting a little crazy. Now you can speed up because it makes me nervous. And there you go. Super simple, right? Now on 99, really what's going to stop it is just the shattering shells in this guy. But we could throw down like a glue gunner to make it a little easier. Okay. So there you go. So what saved us on that one was clearly and obviously the main Moab. That's why you need that there. So now this one, we're just going to let it go through. It's going to pop, it's going to pop, and then as soon as we get in pass range, we're going to do his little yell. Boom, boom. That's going to stop that one. And now we're just going to pop it like crazy. You can put down his other ability if you want to pop one of those Zeomgs. And then the rest is just going to be done with main Moab and stuff. So um, I apologize for the little a bit of ugliness at the end there. I just I threw myself off buying that stupid mortar i didn't want that thing but it happened and it still was just fine and we still had 17 grand left so that was actually a very very easy strat you could have done a lot more with that we could have saved some money and bought some cool stuff or even gotten a first strike or even gotten an overclock or even gotten a spike fact or a spike zone thing with without buying some of the other stuff we bought so pretty exciting and pretty easy strat if i do say so I hope you guys like this. Um, leave a like below, leave a subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment if you guys show me, tell me what I would, could have done differently or what you would have done differently. And I'm, I hope to see you guys next time. Oh, and just wait, uh, Friday is going to be the best banana strategy, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, stay tuned for that because it's be kind of fun. So thank you and I'll see you guys next time.